Tonight, a News Nation exclusive report takes a closer look at the case of Ellen Greenberg. The 27 year old teacher sustained 20 stab wounds, 10 to the back of her neck and 10 to her, uh, to her back. Her death, puzzlingly, was ruled a suicide. Ellen was found by her fiance in their Pennsylvania apartment on January 26, 2011. Her fiance says the door was locked from the inside and that he knocked it down to get to her. Greenberg's death was initially ruled a homicide and then quickly amended to a suicide, police saying they saw no signs of foul play. Joining us now is News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton. Brian, the family has never accepted this, and you spoke to a former prosecutor. What did he say? Yeah, Elizabeth, this case really just does not make a lot of sense. We spoke to the prosecutor who actually investigated the case. He went over all of the evidence, and he says there is no way that this is a suicide. He says it's either extremely negligent police work or a full-on cover-up. New questions tonight about Ellen Greenberg, 27-year-old Pennsylvania woman who was stabbed 20 times in 2011. She was found with a 10-inch knife lodged in her chest and at least 10 stab wounds to her back and neck, even puncturing her spinal cord. Experts say it's impossible she could have done this to herself. The death was initially ruled a homicide, but then changed to suicide. And now the former prosecutor who investigated is sounding the alarm about a botched investigation. Does this still bother you? I strongly, strongly believe there is no one, no one with a straight face and who is honest with themselves, who can lay their head on a pillow at night and sleep comfortably, who can say this is definitively a suicide. The case was sent to Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro's office, the now powerful governor. His office agreed with the suicide ruling, angering Ellen's parents. Did it bother you that Shapiro never, it doesn't seem like he took a personal interest in your case. Yeah, but we have no power. He, I still don't have power over him. But I wonder why he didn't. I don't, why we didn't? Or no, he, why he didn't. Beats me. I think, okay, I'll, I'll answer that. I think he tried to keep his hands off as much as possible because I think deep down he knew some, this was a hot potato. He might have known other things that we didn't know also, like why this is happening that we don't know. Ellen's fiance, Sam Goldberg, is from a wealthy and legally connected Pennsylvania family. The former prosecutor says Sam's 911 call when he discovered Ellen is suspicious. Her shirt won't come off, it's a zipper. Oh my God, she stabbed herself. Where? She fell in a knife. Oh no, her knife's sticking out. Uh, what? There's a knife sticking out of her heart. How are we two and a half minutes into this phone call and you're just telling me there's a knife, a, a, a chef's knife sticking out of her chest? He says there's a knife sticking out of her chest. First, she must have fallen on it. The six inch knife was never fingerprinted. And for the first time, I was shown the gruesome crime scene photos. The first thing I notice is there's a lot of blood uh, and you can see the knife. It looks almost like a steak knife just sticking right out of Ellen's chest. And that prosecutor, Elizabeth, says he was told by the medical examiner while he was investigating that the medical examiner would change the cause of death from suicide to at least undetermined, but that never happened. The case has just been bouncing around. Uh, it's going to go before the Supreme Court, we believe, sometime at the beginning of next year. Uh, coming up tonight on Banfield, 10 o'clock Eastern, we're diving deeper uh, into the case. There's so many questions. We got autopsy photos that show bruises all over Ellen's body that don't make a lot of sense, uh, and also discrepancies in the medical examiner's report. Elizabeth. That is such a who on earth kills themselves by stabbing themselves in their back? It's not even possible. Uh, Brian Enton, great yeah, reporting. Yeah, it's literally impossible. Yeah, it's like I, I've never even heard that. Uh, okay, Brian Enton, thank you so much, uh, and stay on it. Wow. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.